because of the weather, it's just tough to get there. Those gates are set to open in about 15 minutes. Meantime, new at 5.30, we are getting a look inside the future home of the Pens. The Consol Energy Arena will open later this year, but we are taking you behind the scenes tonight. Channel 11's Todd McDermott shows us how construction is coming along. Construction began with a bang. After picking up the pieces of the old St. Francis Hospital, the Penguins broke ground on a new home. Now, after two years of construction that seemed to fly by, Consol Energy Center has taken shape. It is just across Center Avenue from the old igloo, but it's a world apart. And we're giving you an inside look at the work going on behind its glittering glass facade. This centerpiece is the biggest single slab of concrete you'll ever see. The 200 by 85 foot rink can't have any seams and has to be perfectly level. It's the foundation for a perfect ice surface. The job is so important, NHL officials oversaw the workers who poured and perfected that concrete all day and night. The Penguins plan to surround that rink with 18,087 seats. That number attributed to Captain Sidney Crosby. So is the number of suites, 66 for Hall of Famer and owner Mario Lemieux. The seats aren't in yet, and the suites are just empty rooms with unpainted walls. But you can already tell what it'll be like in this building. No more bumping or squeezing by fellow fans in the crowded concourses. It'll be an easier walk to the concession stands and bathrooms. The main concourse overlooks the arena entrance, giving the place an airy feel. It also overlooks the ice, a big change from the current setup. Fans walking up the hill from downtown will pass through turnstiles into a large atrium. The ones who go up the escalators will have a great view of the downtown skyline and what's currently the oldest and smallest arena in the NHL. Everything about the Consol Energy Center is designed to be bigger and better. 300,000 more square feet of space, 1,100 more seats for hockey, an HD video screen, and a food court with a view of the ice. There are still several months of work ahead on the $321 million state-of-the-art building, but it's still on track for the Penguins to call it home for the start of next season in October. Todd McDermott, Channel 11 News. Nice. Well, Consol will be the first LEED Gold Certified Arena in the NHL. More details now on the old arena, the Civic Arena, as it was known when it opened back in 1961, made history from day one. The $22 million facility was built for the Civic Light Opera, an architectural breakthrough of the time. It had the first retractable roof ever put on a stadium. And you can see Pittsburgh's other football team, the Gladiators, playing there in an outdoor game inside the arena. The arena hosted huge events from the Beatles in 1964 to many exciting hockey playoff battles, three Stanley Cup championship teams. There's still a lot of debate about what will happen with the old arena once Consol Energy Center opens. A lot of history there. Yeah, no question. Now to uh, noon.